Coming right up, Straight Talk with Art Levine. Our guest tonight, Brian Gimolero, head women's volleyball coach at Long Beach State. You won't want to miss this interview. Opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications nor its sponsors. We recognize our obligation to present opposing points of view by responsible spokespersons. For information, please contact the director of program. She stands in the face of evil and will not lose hope or faith. America, the land of freedom, is still the home of the brave. Great Talk is brought to you in part by Southern California Edison. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. The Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host, Art Levine. Good evening and welcome to Straight Talk. We have a great show for you this evening. Our guest for the entire show is Brian Gimolero, uh, head women's volleyball coach at Long Beach State, one of the most winningest coaches in the country. Brian, we're delighted to have you back on our show. Uh, nice to be here, Art. Just very briefly, this man, one of the most winning volleyball coaches in America, Three national championships, the first with an undefeated team, 1998 with Misty May, eight Final Fours, 13 regionals, 25 out of 26 appearances, and a record 24 continuous appearances in the NCAA, and 13 players named to Olympic teams, Brian. That's quite a record. Well, thank you. And uh, before we get into it, uh, Brian has had many offers at much greater salary to go to other universities, and thank you for staying part of our Long Beach family and community. Greater salaries, not greater universities. Makes a big difference. Ah, well said. Brian, we're gonna spend this show exploring how you do it. Let's go. You first. <laughs> I, uh, no, I, I, I appreciate the comments. Those are uh, great things to say. Uh, this is a great university, I think, often that we don't realize what a great university we have. Um, uh, I, like you said, I, I, I've been lucky enough to work here, and I, but I choose to work here. I choose to live here. My kids went through public schools here, and they're both in college now. And, and uh, the, what, the, what do you want in a university but the, uh, a compassionate uh, administration, a, a caring faculty, a wonderful area, a beautiful plant, and successful graduates. And so I, I don't know what else I could ask for. Amen to that. So uh, it's so important. Money is not the only thing in life. And you heard it here. <laughs> yeah, we, we always want to make more, but that's just not. Yeah. I mean, I always, I always believe that, it, and I tell young people, when they want to make money, they'll make money. But and if you do something well, you'll 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 make you'll make money. The I like this little it. statement: "Do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life." <laughs> I think I think that's really true, and I, I think even if I can add to that, I, I think that uh, having passion for what you do, uh, it, it, there are so many exciting things to do in this world, and I think just having passion to do it, uh, it, it is it'll, it'll take you through it. Absolutely. And then the money will follow if you have a passion and some reasonable talent. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky enough to find that, so many people go through life mm -hmm. doing things 
that they really are not into, but they need to do to pay the mortgage. Mm -hmm. And it's sad. And you're, people are fortunate when they can find that match between passion and the job. I think, I think too, that the passion comes first. I think if you're passionate about, about yourself, about the ideas, that uh, the wonderful people you're going to meet, the, uh, the opportunities you're going to have, uh, then when you walk into something, you, you, you realize how good it is. And then it's contagious. It's I mean, if you don't have passion for yourself and what mm -hmm. you're doing, it's, it's, I'm sure it's hard to coach young men, in, uh, in your case, women. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no. It, it's either, <laughs> I think it's, yeah, if, if you look at it, uh, enthusiastic, certainly. Enthusiasm is certainly contagious. And it's, it's hard to fake it. I mean, there's an old oh. saying that in Hollywood, sincerity is everything, and if you can fake it, you got it knocked. <laughs> but over the long haul, you can't fake passion. You, you can't fake enthusiasm for what you do. The and, and kids the, will see right through it. And the key word you said is sincerity. I think anybody, sincerity is, is obvious and it's quickly uh, discovered or uncovered. If you're not sincere in what you do, you're going to have trouble. Well, how do you get to three national championships? How do you go in an undefeated team? What, let's talk about a little bit of the mechanics of coaching, but I know that your philosophy is a lot broader yeah than just athletics. It's really a philosophy of life, we'll get to that. But let's start with the, the drill, the athletics. How do, you, how do you get the team up to that level? Well, I don't think you can separate anything. I think if you do things right, uh, if you do things right, your chances increase. So simply, you have to do things right. And doing things right is, certainly has something to do with your specific task, your skill. So you have to develop the skill in whatever you do that you have to have, that's mandatory. But all in, in, in all other aspects are the same as, as, as any other part of life. You know, doing things profitably, doing things ethically. Uh, I, I always am happy with what, we, uh, what, with what walks through the door. You always recruit uh, everyone, and then you're happy with what you get. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm very, What about very the happy. one that got away that you wanted and they chose to go somewhere else? I quickly forget. Okay. And I mean it. I, I, think, I think that has nothing to do with anything. I think more importantly is the person, no, not more importantly, all that's important is the person who is with you. But in fairness, uh, people come to Long Beach State mm -hmm. because of you. They want to play under you. You attract, I mean, success mm -hmm. feeds on itself. Mm -hmm. You get a winning program and then there's a buzz and people want to come here because it's a winning program and you're the coach. You know, there's a lot of pressure with that because I take that very seriously. If a young woman, if the parents of a young woman and a young woman says, you know, Brian, I'm coming here to play for you, uh, then, I, I, then that means they have some serious goals. And, and I feel a lot of pressure on that case to make sure their dreams come true. I, I, I want what they came here for to happen, and I want it to happen for them uh, as soon as possible. And so it, 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 that's a very serious commitment, and I, and I take it that way. And is the goal ultimately to make each person live up to her potential as opposed to defeating the other team? The goal is to have people graduate from the university prepared to handle, to be a, a truly productive person in whatever they choose. Uh, that they can handle adversity, they can handle stress, that they can, they can make, the best out of, make the best out of any situation so their, their, so their chances of being successful with their families better, success, uh, successful with themselves, and making better decisions for their future, and ultimately being uh, as productive as they can be. That's the goal. One of my friends was a very good football player, captain of his team at UCLA, played Pro Bowl a, pro bowl a little bit, mm -hmm. but he believed that, that sports and the training mm -hmm. was very useful in life and, in his case, business. Well, I, I think that it, 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 that's, stated, that's often stated, but I think it's sometimes even understated because it's the one thing, you know, sometimes in businesses and sometimes in jobs, things are covered up. But when you go out there and compete, when you go out, you, it's, it's, it's clean. You either are going to be successful or not. How you judge success, how you judge performance has to be lost in the team truly to be successful. And not, but the individual will always be stated and, and uh, put, to the, put forward. So your performance is judged all the time. And that is a, it's, a, it's a very healthy thing done properly and, and something you can get almost nowhere else. 
And uh, as you know, we live in a very diverse city, the most diverse city in America, according to the RAND Corporation. And uh, that diversity uh, brings certain strengths to the team. Yeah, oh, I, Long Beach State is way ahead. The city of Long Beach and Long Beach State is way ahead of the rest of the country. It is what the country will become. We have so many different cultures, so many bright, passionate pri people, cultures with pride that's coming out and, and, and developing as part of our university. We're ahead. We are way ahead. And I want our team to be reflective of that. And since the very first day I was here and the very first year I was here, we were very proud in how ethnically diverse yes. our team was right away and in, in a sport that at that time wasn't. And it always is moving to me when I see teams playing uh, all colors, all ethnicities, and they're playing together as a team. Mm -hmm. There is no color barrier or racial barrier uh, in sports. Well, I think what's important is, is if you have one culture, you can learn one thing, and it can be good. If you have several cultures done properly, you can get the strength of each culture. Wow. And, 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 and that's the purpose, and that's, that's, that's what we want to do. We'll be right back after we pause for these messages. Stay with us. Electricity is different from any other product we use. We can't store it. We must use it wisely, but can't do without it completely. And there's no substitute for this special form of energy that brings us light, comfort, and progress. That's why California needs new standards that can keep utilities strong, guard against another power crisis, and protect consumers from the kind of shortages that often affect other commodities. Because electricity is different. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started. Getting kids to care about economics is easier than you think. You just need to find a connection. Like how the Port of Long Beach supports one in eight jobs in our city alone. And how the port's commitment to going green is creating even more new jobs. So the Port of Long Beach? Cool. My no texting in class policy? Not so cool. The Port of Long Beach. Investing in jobs. Investing in you. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle. 